beautiful thing about Moab is the rocks just grow out of the ground straight up into the sky here. One of my goals in life is to see what kind of air we can explore out in front of these rocks. But you touch the wall, it's game over. Thanks for coming. You know what I mean? Done. One of my favorite chores is mowing the lawn. That's when I kind of do most of my thinking. Every once in a while, you get that epiphany. People ask me if I'm crazy. If you're not doing what you love, then I think you're crazy. Objective of coming to Utah with Miles was to go to the Fisher Towers and rage and have some fun there, face jumping. We're here to just really go to town on it. Not easy to get to. You know, you gotta earn it. We're gonna jump off as many places and as many parts of these towers as possible. It's just, there's a few steps to getting there. And they're a little bit dangerous. Like a man, oh yeah, woo! You know, it's kind of like that ACDC song, long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And uh, here we are just charging on up there and then we get to the top and it's, it's time to rock. We made it to the top of the mighty Titan right now. It's so beautiful. We're headed right to the Titan. It's a roughly 800 foot tall mud castle in the sky. First impression was whoa. This place is gnarly. The winds are swirling all around. It's definitely windy, so I'm a little bit worried. Black diamond landing areas everywhere, and if you miss those, it's double black diamond. So it seemed a little bit unwelcoming. I'm very familiar with jumping in this terrain, but for the first jump here, it's really scary. I've walked away from jumps before, and you gotta trust your instincts, because that's what got you here. Sketchy Andy's living up to his name. He's like, I will jump this thing in any conditions. And I'm like, oh boy, you know, settle down. They call me Sketchy Andy for a fact that I'm always doing something outside of the normal standard of safe. <laughs> you're like, I'm all right, well, if you're not sweating it, dude, go ahead, be the wind test dummy, please. When you get into the drainage is where it gets just don't even go in. <sighs> okay, we are ready to send Andy off when you guys are ready down below. He's moving, he's kidding turbulence. Wow, that's some turbulent air out there. <laughs> I landed in a tree. You're not really controlling your canopy. Like, it's spicy fast. Andy's report is it's windy. He's up, he's waving. All right, I'm gonna go. This is a nerve-wracking sport. That's why we got good nerves. Yeah, JT. Pretty fired up right now. Can work out some steps here. Suck me down. Now I'm not so fired up. Some uh, branches. And I got to untangle a little bit. Got a little, little tangleage. Didn't go that well. Miles straddled a rock on landing, and Andy landed in a bush. Um, it's windy. That was like a very, very weird way to start jumping because that jump was definitely a little bit more heads up than we thought. We called back up to JT and said, hey man, this is gnarly. I think you should uh, hold tight and uh, let's wait on these winds because the desert's definitely breathing around right now. What we did, it wasn't exactly fun. It wasn't like enjoying your life, it was more like trying to save it. So we never did jump the rest of the first day. 
Day two, completely different story. We got perfect conditions. Now we're fired up. Now we all know we're gonna jump. Back to the top, now we're on the west side of the Titan, and Miles and I decide to jump together. 1,000, 2,000. Let's have some fun, JT. Yeah, buddy. Rock and roll, man. The Titan, the Titan. Let's go base jumping. This thing's diving to the left. There's a lot of things to run into, but corrected it right away. Yeah! Ha, ha, ha. Woo! Woo! Oh! A little bit of a spicy opening, huh? Yeah, Miles, man, bro. Yeah, JT. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome, guys. I'm trembling, man. I, I feel so good. Down. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't look like I'm trembling, but I'm trembling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done, brother. We're just warming up. Back up on the Titan again. This time decided to do a two-way with Andy and take a completely different approach. This time, all about sightseeing. First, Andy, followed by JT. Let's open our parachutes. Let's see if we can't fly all the way around this thing and maybe in and out of some of these towers. After you've gotten all the way to the top of this great big cliff, where you can do a six second free fall, that's what you want to do. You want to feel that rush. But Andy is a creative guy and had these ideas of, why don't we just open our parachutes and fly around this place? I just kind of focus on going in and out of these towers with the pillars just being right there. That proved to be one of the more special and spectacular jumps that I had, to just be really among all the terrain instead of above it. <laughs> we landed at the bottom and I turned to JT and I said, okay, now for the scary part, because I was referring to Miles jumping his wingsuit off the tower and I was more scared for that than I was for like this flight that I had just taken. So beautiful up here. Oh my god. I got a chance to jump with the wingsuit. Gainer exit. The thing about wingsuits that makes them dangerous is everything. Things are happening fast. You know, you're doing 120 mile an hour forward, 50 mile an hour downward. A wingsuit flight off the Titan was like, whoa. That was one of the more uh, bold call. There's nothing easy about jumping off of a cliff that by wingsuit standards is that low. Okay, I'm just gonna do a gainer off this thing and fly down to my boys. That's not an easy trick to do, especially in a big wingsuit. And here we go. I just saw him falling and not really flying yet. I was definitely sweating. And then all of a sudden, he just popped it. Yeah, that 
was incredibly spectacular to watch. Looks like a fighter jet with that smoke coming off. Baby, yeah! It comes whipping on in, belly flopped right in next to us laughing. Yeah, JT! Yeah. Woo! That was so Yeah! I felt good! <laughs> I hate shit. <laughs> yeah. To be able to launch your body into the air under a beautiful rock is just one of the most life-enhancing moments that you can have. It's like the rocks are alive and just grabs you by the soul. Yeah. One of Miles knew that he wanted to base jump in Moab. First thing I said was, dude, I've been trying to land on Kingfisher. The Kingfisher jump started three years ago. I thought about, wow, that looks like it has a flat top. You could probably land up there, you know? We all talked about it for years and looked at it and waited and tried and failed and joked. That's a super committing line where you got to top land a 600 foot tower where it's only eight feet wide down to like four feet wide. It's not an easy line and if you miss and you fall off, you're probably gonna die. One day, like about a year ago, Mario landed perfectly on the tower. Beautiful landing. He did it. One of his biggest heroes is Mario Richards. Mario, um, fly free brother, he, uh, yeah, he passed away. He died in Europe doing the wingsuit thing. Mario wasn't just some dude. He was one of my mentors. I really want to land on this thing for Mario. And I was like, dude, let's just go over there and like try it. And so we got to the top. I just knew that it was going to be kind of sketchy, and I knew it was small. But we got up there, I had forgotten how sketchy and small it was. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we got a crazy plan. We're above the fissures right now. We're going to try and fly from there to there. This is heads up. This is scary. Like, damn. It can go really bad really quickly. It's gambling, dude, you know? It's like the Las Vegas of this area right here. Have a good one, dude. Yeah, thank you. You got me, bro? I got you. Yeah, man. Andy. Let's have some fun with this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make it. I'm totally going to make it. Thanks, Andy. We had a solid plan, you know? If I hit that perfect swoop line, then I go for it. If anything's not perfect, then I just bury a left toggle and pull away. And as I started coming up to the tower, I'm getting these huge updrafts. It lifted me up a good 15 feet. Oh, too much up! Too much up! I aborted that mission. Yeah, too much bumpies! I love this sport, but I don't want to die doing it, you know? I really wanted to land on that spot, but man, as you come in to set up for it, there's just too much lift. And I thought I was high and I could dive into it, but it's a little turbulent today. It's a really committing landing area. You got to really want it. Come on, Andy. Yeah, this is for you, Mario. When I started approaching the tower, I knew that I wasn't making the main landing area, but I had a decision whether I could go for the sketchy landing area or whether I should just bail. And I was like, this time I'm going to go for the sketchy landing area. Like, this is like the one. That was fun.
fucking awesome. <laughs> JT was right there filming it, and I was just shocked. I couldn't believe that I'd done it after all this time. That ain't easy right there, man. I've won a few accuracy contests in my day, and that's a real deal accuracy contest up top. Oh my goodness. I landed on probably the thinnest, most crazy part of the tower. Truly, it was a display of absolute mastery. It was a special moment. You know he was doing that for Mario right there. Huge success out here in Utah. We sessioned, we went hard. We were meant to go do this. We all have ideas of what we want to do next time we come back because we will be back. It's so fun flying around mud castles in the sky. I am so excited to get home, tell my wife these stories. <laughs> Perfect. Guess what we did, honey? Yeah! It was all-time awesome. Yeah!